uh, our group in the focus group of, of education. So we have collaborated with the main uh, uh, problem in our uh, SUC and other colleges and universities. So we come up with uh, this uh, breakout session output. So uh, one of the background that we uh, uh, studied is that there are uh, 32 million uh, opportunities uh, for unserved users for the internet connectivity and uh, 5G is still, uh, there's uh, a servable uh, areas that is still lagging. So there are only uh, three network providers that has, uh, there are only few competitors and uh, there are addressable market that we need to address. So for the problem, so that's why we are going to try to uh, improve our curriculum for us to have the following in the ORAN. So we have the equipment lock-in, we have the costs and the complex and security also and usability. So, and the design. So for the equipment lock-in, so network equipment is only compatible to a specific company. So this uh, would uh, allow us to open all competitors in using a, a wide range of uh, brand as well as the investment network infrastructure design is expensive and its maintenance also for the complex deployment of the network uh, based on uh, remote and unserved areas so there is a uh, complex deployment of uh, infrastructure and also uh, some of the uh, lack of security from network attacks and uh, usability when the schools uh, what uh, wants something that is easy to adopt and simple to use for their students. So for the design, so current study tools are hard to use and inaccessible for some demographics. So that's why uh, for uh, this uh, presentation at the end, so we have uh, some of the proposal. So there is, uh, we're going to design a laboratory in the education sector that will provide this avenue for us to nurture ORAN as well as to create platform and use the current platform we have like the Rakuten Symphony and also other platform like Intel and, uh, and in the computer science platforms that we have. Uh, also is to provide an environment for education and training of electronics and computer engineering as well as the ICT sector in education. Also, this would allow us to promote collaboration with uh, other universities and colleges, as well as with the industry. So, so uh, ORAN would be a solution for us to close the gap between the industry and academe, and for us for, for, uh, to be able to us to uh, allow our, our future engineers to design a network as well as to, uh, to save cost and also to enable development of new services in the future. So for, the, for this, so we have this uh, uh, IPO process. So there will be, uh, on the end, we will have a three-year partnership. And also we have to have the design and uh, uh, research and development laboratories. And uh, in the future, so there will be some of the uh, limitations for this. So there is opportunity to build 5G and beyond technologies, as well as we have the freedom to design and also co on commercialization. So, so the laboratory is going to be uh, in the education sector would be related to research and design. And also it would be like a laboratory as a service in the future. So what would be our action plan is that uh, how do we uh, open uh, the bridge, uh, the gap with education is with the following solutions that we have currently in the uh, Open Run Alliance for Education. So we have the Rakuten Symphony, the Intel courses, and the Sailor Online Learning Resources, which is also not only focusing more on the technical side, but also they have computer science and other uh, courses in bed in the program.